So here we are back again with uh, beginning beekeeping in Texas. I realize you've probably never seen me without my veil of awesomeness. But uh, here to just do some real basic stuff. I'm building about eight boxes today. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to build a box or a deep or a medium or a bee box or a brood box um, it's all the same uh, mediums are smaller though this is a deep here that I'm working on I don't know if you can see it is deeper of course um, so we have some two inch uh, screws these are deck screws are coated so they're not going to leave terrible smears and streaks down the front of your hive if you don't get coated screws or galvanized nails, you're going to have a bad time because they will leave rust streaks down the front of your beautiful paint job or just all over your hive and it's not really pretty. So this is what I use. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I'm using Deckmates number 8, 2 inch. And these have the uh, T25 star heads. Super great. You don't strip hardly at all. So anyway, let's get down to it. So what you're going to need here, these are much cheaper to buy this way. I got these from Texas Bee Supply, but uh, go to my local supplier. So you're going to need two long pieces, two short pieces. So when you get these, you really should kind of inspect them. These are really nice. I mean, this routering is super, super nice. You know, I've seen them where they're just all like haggard and like, you know, those big chips out of here and it's just not nice. So these are really pretty looking. Um, and, and, and it's not just a matter of aesthetics because you're going to paint them white anyway, usually, or whatever color. I would recommend a light color because that reflects the light and the heat. If you're in a colder climate, um, I recommend a dark color because that will absorb the heat and you're not really not going to have many hundred degree days in Alaska, you know, Washington State, all those places. I know Idaho can get pretty hot, but you know, leave me a comment. Let me know where, you know, how hot it gets where you are and what color you paint your hides. You know, let me, let me know. I'm interested. I'm from Alaska and I'm just starting to do this here in Texas. So it's been a been a learning curve but it's more of how to get them to handle the heat more than the cold so it's just a different more ventilation more holes more openings uh, screen bottom boards things like that so anyway so this is a classic rookie mistake this is what you gotta look for see right here my handles the correct position so you want to be able to grab and hold I almost put this handle on upside down you can do it it is possible they make it kind of idiot proof where you can't but I've seen boxes where you can they make it so these joints only fit this way so that's really good so what you want to do is make sure you get a nice and see how that's right like that I want to make sure these joints are flush now I realize I'm doing this without a square, without anything, but I can just kind of, you know, you kind of feel it. And when these get the most flush, that's when you grab your drill that fell on the floor, because that's what happens. And just put one in, you know, put one in and make sure that it's straight when you do. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time because your box is not going to be square. I like to do it wherever it's having problems. So you see how this one kind of wants to do this. So I line it up, kind of get it mostly in there with my hand. These are pre-drilled, which are also really nice. Get it really good in there. Now, I know people have jigs. I know people, you know, probably gonna not, 
not like this very much, but hey, do with what you got. And right now, I am just getting pretty big into this, so. That one went a little too much. Cracked it. So back that off a little bit so it's not cracking it anymore. Didn't crack the inside, just the outside. So that's just cosmetic. It's not too big of a deal, but you really want to make sure you just barely get it in there. Kind of countersink it a little bit, maybe. Just so when you paint it, it looks nice and flush. So that's that. Got enough in there for now, I think. And this is when it starts to get a little easier. You've already got, see, I almost did it again. Got to make sure these handles are all the same way. Luckily, these are a little more idiot proof than most. I'll sink this one in. And that usually squares them up when you sit, when you do that. Or something terribly wrong, which I don't think will happen. Let's put one in here. And now, go back in, please. I want to tell me got you. I want to help you. Oh, okay. I'll come over here. Come over here and help me. Screw. Screw. Okay. Say hi to the camera. This is Brielle, this is my four-year-old. Can you shut the door, please? In a way, can you hear it? Uh, well, no, the air conditioning's on. So. I'll help you with the screws and do you're gonna, it. You're going to give me the screws? And I'm going to do it and drill it. You're going to drill it? Yeah, drill it. Okay, so we got to make sure we have our... Handle on top. It really does go fast. I mean, it's pretty easy. Might need a hammer once in a while. Just. <laughs> tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Fun, fun, square pants. Oh. Crabby, patty. Oh, yeah? Fun, fun, square pants. Crabby Friday. Make a crappy patty at work. Can you give me a screw? Huh? I want Thank you. You can do you can do one. We'll get we'll eat the last one, okay? No, no. I do this one. I'm going to screw that one. Oh. You sure? Yeah. Okay. okay. This is the last one. No, I'll have the last one, but you can help. Here, I'll, help, I'll start it for you, okay? okay? I'll start it for you. Push the button. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Push the button. Good job. Mm -hmm. There you did it. You want to do one more? Yeah. Push the button. Go ahead. Go fast. Sounds like sounds like a fart. Remember? Yeah. It's called a screwdriver. So you make sure it's flush? Yeah, I'm gonna do the hammer next time. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do the hammer next time. Okay, next time. We got lots to go. So 
don't be afraid to build your own boxes. You're building your own hide? I did not make this. I am not that skilled. What? Maybe one day, but I don't have the time. I mean, if you want to buy your hides completely made and painted and all that good stuff, go for it. I bet that is all you. I started doing that, and then I noticed that the price was, was just really high, you know? It's just like, why do I want to pay $55 for a hive? I mean, granted, it comes with 10 frames, but, you know, the frames are 29 25 and the box, if it's un unprepared, is like 12 bucks. So you are saving money. I mean, okay, bye bye. I'll help you when I done the Okay. Oh, so, okay. So you do save money. I mean, I bought five mediums and uh, I was going to buy them assembled, painted, and frames. And, uh, I ended up looking at, I ended up price second, see, all my handles are on the correct side. That's what you want, and it's square. Pretty good, huh? So that's what you want to do. We're going to cover painting them next. Um, but anyway, I got assembled frames because I am not messing around with assembling frames. It just takes too long. I don't have a jig. I don't have a air compressor. I don't have a nail gun. So I do little baby tiny nails and man it takes forever. So yeah, so that's it. Um, you know, I think I saved 75 bucks uh, getting five mediums and two deeps just for assembling them myself and it's probably gonna take an hour. So that's well worth it. And the, the screws were 25 bucks at the orange store. So you can figure that one out. All right, well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to comment. Did I screw up royally? Bye-bye, so. unicorn. Bye-bye, unicorn. Bye-bye, unicorn bees. Okay, bye. See you next video. Say subscribe to my videos. To my videos. Now say subscribe. Subscribe to my two videos. Okay. Oh, you got to look at the camera. Look at the camera. Subscribe to my two videos. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye.